Hello! In this video, we will show how to use external dynamic block list for hashes feature, introduced in 40OS version 6.2. This feature allows users to incorporate external third-party malware list into their antivirus scanning activities by providing FortiGate with a mechanism to retrieve block list by specifying a URI to the external server. We first create a hash list containing the hash of the test file located on the external web server. This example shows the valid hash list format that this feature uses. Currently, the feature supports MD5, SH1, and SH8256 hash. However, it is recommended to use only one type of hash, since AV scan speed will slow down as more hash types used. Next step is to configure FortiGate to forge the external hash from the web server and configure the AV profile to use the external hash list. After the FortiGate is configured, we will attempt to download the test file from the internet. Because the test file's hash matches the entry on the external hash list, the test file will be blocked. Now let's open our FortiGate's GUI and set up external block list for hashes. Please keep in mind, to configure FortiGate properly, we must first traverse to the global virtual domain space. On our FortiGate, we have VDMs enabled, so the option is accessible under global settings. Notice, the new block list type, malware, is added to the external source object table. This was introduced with the implementation of this feature in 40OS version 6.2 and does not exist in 40OS 6.0. Here we set the URI of our external hash list that you can see on your screen. Highlighted in yellow is our SHA1 hash for our test file that we will attempt to download later. Don't forget to click on the refresh button to check if FortiGate can access the list. FortiGate can poll for any changes made to the external malware hash list and update its AV scan unit daemon with the new changes. Let's now check the content of the list. As you can see, all the hashes were successfully downloaded, including SHA1 hash for our test file. Now, let us configure the AV profile to use our created malware block list. Make sure you switch back to the virtual domain 1 as AV profile objects are not configurable in global. Notice the new section added to the AV profile page in order for external block list to work with the existing outbreak prevention settings. If the option to use external block list is enabled, then the AV will automatically apply all enabled malware block list to the AV scan. Now let us add our new AV profile to our firewall policy. Before we begin testing, let's check if our AV scan unit daemon has updated itself with the block list. As you can see here, our test file's hash is now part of the scan unit's malware list. We can now expect this file to be blocked. Now that everything is set up, let us download our test file. The file is blocked because we incorporated the external malware hash block list into our AV scanning. This dedication is recorded under antivirus law category and it's documented as an outbreak prevention event. Notice two new fields, file hash and file hash source, added to the outbreak prevention log events as a result of this feature. This concludes our external dynamic block list for hashes feature overview. Thank you for watching, and for more technical videos, please visit video.fortinet.com.